Welcome everybody, it's Salman. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the KT4 Wonder Weapon in Zetsubo no Shima to its upgrade variant, the Masam Masamune. It's really good, I really highly recommend you get it. Without further delay, let's get into it. Now there's going to be a couple things you need to do during the Easter Egg and there's something you need to get even before and that's obviously going to be the KT4. You're going to need that, to, of course you can't upgrade it if you don't have it. And there's two other things you're going to need to do. You don't have to start the steps, but you can't even start to pick up some parts for two of the parts without completing these. Now, one of them is you're going to need the skull of Nansapwa. And the reason why, because you're going to have to reveal secret locations. And I'll show you exactly in a little bit why and, why and how you're able to reveal secret locations. And you're also going to need to complete the challenges on the walls inside the main, well, the main altar area to get the skull of Nansapwa. So the first step we're going to be going to, I'm going to be showing you guys, is going to actually need a secret area to be open. What you're going to have to do, you're going to have to head all the way down to the cocoon areas, and then by the purple water, and turn around. You're going to see this pa is torn paper on the wall, and what you're going to do, you want to get your skull of Nansapwe out, and you want to just mesmerize. Do not use the killing attack, just a mesmerize attack. You'll just appear, make this other air, this other half of the paper appear on the wall. And what this is going to allow you to do is going to allow you to see if to reveal secret locations inside the map. Now for before we even go to the secret location we're going to actually uh, locate we first have to get ourselves some rainbow water. Now this rainbow water can only be gotten in one place and it's kind of difficult to get if you don't know what you're doing but once you understand what you're doing it's super easy. So what you're going to have to do, you want to head all the way down to the main set of testing area and head to the sewer area and what you're going to do, pay the 500 to go down here and you're going to see rainbow water from down here and how you're going to get it, you're going to just slide down here and in a specific spot there's going to be some rainbow water where you only pick up for a very short amount of time and you're going to have to hold square there and get it. Now I'm going to be giving you a couple hints on how to get it and the exact location where you can kind of fill it up at and where you're going to do it you want to head down and you're going to see a couple areas fly by when you're going through here you're going to see a green area a blue area another green area another blue area and finally another green area so where the water actually is you're going to, you want to pass by the first green area the first blue area the second green area and this at the second blue area you want to get ready to hold square because once you start entering into the, green, the final green area, you want to hold square right as you're going inside there because that is the only place you can pick it up. Of course, do not ever try to spam square. You will never get it if you spam square. I've tried it multiple times. You cannot get it by spamming square. Just wanted to tell you guys, but you guys don't go waste your time trying to spam square. As for what you're going to be doing with this rainbow water, you want to head down to where you got the first part, well, one of the original parts for the KT4. And what you want to do, you want to head that all the way down to the bottom, probably pop that air bubble if you're, for you won't drown, and turn to this rock on the wall. And this is why we revealed that paper, because now we can reveal secret locations, and you will now just hold memor mesmerize and point at this rock, and it will fade away, and you can go plant a seed there. I forgot to mention, but do have a seed before you head over here. And you want to just go ahead, plant your seed, and fill it up with some rainbow water. You want to have to actually water it three different times and on three different rounds before you can pick it up. So if so let's say you started on round 10, your first water was on round 10, come back on round 11 to water it, come back on round 12 to water, and then on finally on round 13 you will be able to to have your fully grown plant there. So once it's actually fully grown, you will obviously see this thing that looks similar to the, the part you picked down here, picked up down here for the KT4. Just go ahead and obviously pick that up and we can move on to the next part. This is probably the most simple one and you're, this is another reason why you're going to need the KT4. You want to walk up to this blue, where the blue water area is, and you want to walk behind it and there's going to be these blue spider webs here and you're going to shoot them with the KT4. It doesn't have to be a charged shot, you can just shoot it with a normal shot and it'll work perfectly. What happens here, you're going to actually enter into a boss fight with this giant spider and he's not difficult to kill if you know what you're doing. And what you're going to have to do, you're going to just have to kill him obviously. And all, the only way to damage his, him is when he's spitting out acid from his mouth and you just want to shoot at his mouth when that is happening. You can see on the gameplay where I am exactly shooting so, so you got if I did not explain well enough. All you have to do is just avoid three different attacks. You're going to have, he's going to be just hitting down with his feet, 
and there's, he's going to shoot acid at the floor and he's going to send out little spiders at you and these little spiders will actually drop you a max ammo after you're done killing a couple so again like I said he's not difficult at all all you have to do is really just dodge at acid he shoots on the floor and dodge his feet when he's hitting you and you'll just have to shoot at his mouth until he's done it doesn't take that long at all I think it only takes like what a minute two minutes at the well that's what it took me inside this gameplay about two minutes to do so it's not difficult at all now as for what you do after you kill him you want to walk up to his face where just walk across this area as you guys will see on the gameplay and you want to walk up to his face and you will see one of his teeth go ahead and hold square by there and go ahead and pick it up now you can just exit this area by following the exit route you're heading and you'll be able to leave like that and we will be able to move on to our next and final part now the final part is why you would needed to complete the challenges inside that area because once you complete that your challenges you can now well now lightning will be hitting on the floor and you will be able to actually capture this lightning now I did forget to mention that you actually need one more thing you're going to need the zombie shield if you don't know how to get that I have a link down in the description if you guys don't know how to get it so what you're going to have to do when the lightning actually strikes you're going to have to pull out your shield and you're going to walk into the lightning and it'll and lightning will catch on your shield so what you're going to have to do with this lightning on your shield hold it all the way it won't go away unless you hit something against it or a zombie hits it so just follow all the way to where I'm going you want to head to laboratory B and what you're going to do you can if you're playing on co-op what you're going to have to do you want to hit against this thing the cage will open and you are, one player will go in one player stays up here and just once he gets in he will just use hold square he'll head down and once he said and I think he'll head up back up automatically but you may have to lift him up too of course if you're playing on solo all you have to do is just hit up against this then walk inside the area and it'll send you down go ahead and pick up the part that you will see on screen how to get just stuck inside one of the skeleton's ribs and you'll be able to pick it up and you'll come up by yourself pretty easy not too difficult at all and now we now that you've completely picked up all the parts all you have to do is head all the way down back to the main testing area and just go over here next to the area that where you actually crafted the KT4 and what you're going to do you going to head to the other area a little to the right of it and you're just going to see it, it looks very similar and you're going to want to just put all your pieces there all the parts you picked up and your KT4 and it'll upgrade it automatically and now you have completed the upgrading process after you pick it up hope you guys found this video informative and helpful and if you guys did like it go ahead and like it and if you guys want to see more Zetsubo no Shima gameplay well tutorials gameplay easter egg storyline all the good stuff go ahead and subscribe I will have a main easter egg tutorial guide coming up on my channel very soon so stay tuned for that don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on my next video